hi everyone thank you for joining us today yes for please go ahead thank you for joining us today for our webinar on how to make the best of quarantine in life and business uh knowing what to do is hard right now and there's no one answer covid 19 and the novel coronavirus pandemic has disrupted daily lives and has caused the world economies to pre-fall into massive downward spiral that is why we are now bringing this informative webinar by our esteemed mentor to share tools which will help you navigate survive and thrive after this quarantine is lifted we'll be breaking the topic down into two phases personal and business during lockdown also to all the attendees out there please type in any questions you might have and we'll try to answer as many as possible at the end of the session uh i would now like to introduce our speaker uh mr harish mehta is a motivational speaker a certified business and executive coach from action coach international usa he is also a certified john maxwell leadership coach a certified law of attraction trainer and the founder of disrupt engaging with the minds of people to find the new within you he believes that growth thrives on a single point agenda which is action with four decades of experience and knowledge gained through all the trainings and programs harish is an accomplished speaker coach trainer teacher mentor and facilitator please welcome mr harish mehta hi sir welcome thank you yeah i'll just start uh, share my screen as well and thank you thank you uh please start sir thank you very much sonali that was a great introduction i want to introduce to the people today a great subject close to my heart these 90 days will change your life and i mean it these 90 days will change your life now do you know what is in store for you for these 90 days how life is going to evolve and how you are going to create a new you i want each one of you to take out your pens and papers and take some notes sonali i don't see my picture do i need to see or it's all okay it's visible sir it's visible to the attendees oh lovely lovely so i cannot see myself i'm so happy <laughs> brilliant so the people who are there in the room i promise you two things i will change the way you think listen and do these 90 days are going to create a new you and i mean it i repeat i mean it the way you people think the way you people listen and the way you people do do you know where you live here in your mind do you know what is there that is stopping you to become who you need to become who you can become and who you will be in the next 90 days i am sure most of you do not know what's going to happen to you in the next 24 hours 48 hours or a week why why are you carrying this uncertainty in your mind do you know there is a fear in you there is a fear in you that you do not know what's going to happen and why is that fear because the people you are surrounded by today the people who live around you and i am going to share with you how to create a new you if you already not done it i want you to do it if you don't want to do it you will not change you will not become 
who you can become. Every single day, there are 24 hours. Every single day, there are 24 hours. And each of us has those 24 hours with us. Yes. How you use those 24 hours? Invest on yourself or waste on yourself is up to you. These 90 days are not going to come again. I promise you. These 90 days are not going to come again. And the lockdown is going to be extended after the 14th for another period. And that's the trial that you need to go through. So please, people in the room, ask yourself, how can you get the best out of yourself in these 90 days? The 90 days will end on the 1st of July and there'll be a new world. Are you prepared to accept the new world? Are you gearing up to look at the new world? Are you promising yourself to create a new world in your life? Yes, I mean it. Are you promising yourself to get a new world in this life? This is God's gift to all of us. This is God's gift to all of us. These 90 days will shape you to create a new you. And I mean it. So what do you need to do in these 90 days to create the new you? Each one of us is having a 6 a.m. to 11 p.m. every single day. Each one of us is having a 6 a.m. to 11 p.m. every single day. What's your routine today? What's your routine today? Is your routine the same, the better, or the worse? Are you getting up at 6 a.m. or you're lazing till 12? Do not lose your life. Remember, I am ready at 9 a.m. and sitting on my home office desk to attend to people. 9 to 12 is my attending to people, making those calls, making those webinars, sharing those messages and coaching people. Did I know? When I did my last seminar to 270 people in Cochin on the 7th of March, that I'm going to be speaking to a TV screen and I'm going to be sending these messages to thousands of people around the world and listening from the great people around the world sitting in my office at home. Did I know this? No. What did I do? I accepted the new life. I created the new me. I need to speak for the next 90 days and maybe beyond into the screen. Teach the people around the world and tell them that life is good. Make it better every single day by working hard on yourself. Yes, I mean working hard on yourself. And these 90 days are not going to come back. I promise you, the more you learn in these 90 days, I repeat, the more you learn in these 90 days, you will earn much more after the 90 days. How you are doing your routine, your 90 days starts at 6 a.m. and ends at 11 p.m. every single day. Today, I want each one of you to pick up a chart paper, if you don't have a chart paper at home, pick up newspapers, put it on the wall and write down your 90 days, how you want to invest in these 90 days on yourself. I mean it on yourself, on your personal growth, on your personal development and on the development of your family. And in case you are employed on the people you are surrounded by or the employer. You got work to do when you sit in your home office every day, 9 to 12 and 2 to 5. 
I'm giving you two hours break, 12 to 2. And organize your life in such a way that you can keep yourself happy. You can keep your children happy. You can keep your family happy and also participate with them in the daily routine that the family needs to do together at home. This is the best time you could be with your family, with your parents, with your children, with your wife, and with the neighbors. This could have never happened in the normal day, which you used to live before the 22nd of March. And I must promise you that the things that you can do today, you can create a new world for yourself, which is going to be so good, so beautiful, and so full of gratitude that these days will be etched in your memory for the rest of your life. This is a great story that you're writing for yourself. Yes, this is a great story that you're writing for yourself. And this is going to reveal to the world how you earned respect for yourself, for your time, for your people, for your environment. And this is what I want to share with you today. How to use this 90 days to grow, to become good, better, and best. Greatness is visible who work on themselves for these 90 days. And yes, why I repeat, this 90 days is going to be your life. You could never have thought about it, that this will change me. This will create a new me. Now, what do you need to do to work on yourself to create a new you? You need to work on yourself by getting up in the morning, 6 a.m., and doing your bed. What did I say? Doing your bed. You've never done that. So the habit of doing your bed needs to come in. And as soon as you see, you can get into that zone of doing your bed. And if possible, you and your wife could do the children, make them better, sit together. In case you are doing prayers, you can do your prayers. In case you want to read, you can read. In case you want to learn something, you can learn something new, which you have never done in this 6 to 9 a.m. And when students, children, teachers, they all go to school. Your children also need to go to school. They need to go out of the door and come back into the door and sit in their classroom at home. Could you ever imagine that you could create a life for them? The world over has shifted. Similarly, you pick a corner in the home and start your office at 9 a.m. Done with your breakfast, done with your bathing, done with your readiness, you are ready to now take office. Now you have written down yesterday before sleeping in your default diary, what are the errands you need to do? I mean, got to do myself and getting things done from people. These two lists need to be prepared every single day. Got to do myself and getting things done from people. And now that you are in your office, get into your daily huddle with your team. If you're a business owner, you have a team. If you're an employee, your employer is waiting to speak to you and the other members of the team to get into the daily huddle. The huddle could be between 10, 15, or half an hour. Once you've done the huddle, you are each one of you who is a part of the huddle in the office is getting into his own zone to complete the tasks for the day. And in case you need to meet more often, you can fix times to meet again before lunch. Lunch starts at 12 because you started early. So before 12, you can do your team huddle and the employer can get into huddle again post-lunch or before you close for the day at 5 p.m. I promise you, this is the discipline in case you can follow it. You can make this journey better. 
What you need to do is plan your today, plan your tomorrow, plan your week, plan your 15 days, and plan your month. All plan in the crisis that you're going through is not about panic, is how about creating a new company, a creating about a new team, because they are now all thinking. And the more these people think, the more they listen, the more they do. Remember, productivity is going to be at the peak when you focus on these areas. When you value your 9 a.m. huddle, when you value your 12 noon huddle, when you value your 5 p.m. huddle every single day. That's the meeting room. And today, technology is providing you that. Remember, what did I say? Technology is providing you that. In case you don't have it, install it right away. Do not sleep through it. You all have got smartphones. You all have got the computer, the laptop, or the iPad. Connectivity, connectivity, connectivity. Communication, communication, communication is the essence. Connectivity and communication are the two things that you need to have today. And I must share with you, in case you feel that you want to get the same life after these 90 days, I promise you, you're going to be wrong. The shift that needs to come, needs to come today. And as soon as it comes, you see a new life emerging. Listening, learning, growing, sharing, caring, and looking after each other. And now that you're with your family, give more time, post your 5 p.m., a 6 to 9 program, and then again, write your routine so beautifully that you are so happy at 11 p.m. that you had a great day because you planned the day before you slept. This is a new life I am giving you. And I promise you what you need to leave. Write down these five words, the toxins that you're carrying, which you need to leave from your life. Number one. Number one. Those who complain need to forget from today. I promise not to complain. I promise not to complain. And number two, I promise not to criticize. I promise not to criticize. Number three, I promise not to gossip. Get out of the zone of receiving and posting and forwarding those WhatsApp messages which have no value. Your life, your time in these 90 days is going to create more value for you than you could have ever imagined. Than you could have ever imagined. Why I say this is because these 90 days are creating a new you. And when you shift, you have unwired yourself to rewire to a new routine. And remember, the quality of your routine defines the caliber of your performance. This new routine is going to take you to a new life, a new life for you, a new life for your children, a new life for the wife, a new life for the parents. And they're going to be so grateful. And remember this, that this was the best thing to have happened to them in their life. This coronavirus, which has come, this is a blessing in disguise for the planet Earth. It is going to reset itself. What did I say? It's going to reset the world. The whole planet is going to be reset and it's going to come out emerging beautifully well. And you know what I mean by that? You are going to accept greatness in people, greatness in human beings, and greatness in life. Once you move into that zone, once you move into that zone, you will see life has changed with you, with the people around you, and with the people whom you communicate with every single day. And life is too good to be ordinary. You got to bless yourself that this 
90 day challenge is now going to change you and the people around you. Now that you have written this one, stop complaining, stop criticizing, stop gossiping, stop worrying and stop procrastinating. Get these five toxins out of you. Remove negative people from your life. Remove negativity from you. Remove self-doubt and bring self-esteem. And let the fear go. Let the fear go. The fear needs to be out of your mind. The fear is one thing when you say, I will face the fear. And the fear will disappear. I promise you, when you face the fear, the fear will disappear. I promise you, when you face the fear, the fear will disappear. The fear will disappear. Now, what I want you to do for business owners, for people who are employed, I want you to look at in business. In business, what is a crisis? In business, what is a crisis? A crisis is an unstable or crucial time or state of affairs in which decisive change is impending. I repeat, an unstable or crucial time or state of affairs in which decisive change is impending. Now, what do you do in these circumstances? What do you do in these circumstances? I will share. Life is defined by the choices you make. So please make the right choices. Please make the right choices. Why I say that you need to make the right choices? Because it's all about the choices that will create the new you. And those of you who are leaders, I want you to write this down. Those of you who are leaders, I want you to write this down. As a leader, you need to guard your heart and feed your mind. As a leader, you need to Guard your heart and feed your mind. Number two, protect yourself and your people. Protect yourself and your people. Protect yourself and your people. Communicate. Communicate in a proactive, positive, and a pragmatic way. Communicate in a proactive, positive, and a pragmatic way, create an action plan. Create an action plan and then execute, test, measure, and adjust. Do you see? There is so much to do in these 90 days. And I must share this with you. What you feed your mind, what you feed your mind determines your appetite. What you feed your mind determines your appetite. When you guard your heart and you feed your mind, when you guard your heart and feed your mind, your ability to stay positive, your ability to stay positive is your best chance, is your best chance of a successful exit. I repeat, your ability to stay positive is your best chance of a successful exit. What we feed on is what will nurture us. What we feed on is what will nurture us. Just like what we eat, just like what we eat determines how our body functions. So true. Just like what we eat, it determines how our body functions. So, two, what we watch, what we watch, what we listen, 
and what we read will determine our health remember what you watch what you read and what you see do and become is important what you see and what you become the new beliefs that are going to come into you the new be the new do the new have i know the more you be become who you need to become you will become who you need to become provided you know what you want and in life when you know what you want you get what you want how beautiful these words come when you know what you want you get what you want and when each one of you listening to me today remember you will get what you want when you know it well enough you will get what you want when you know it well enough and today you need to get clarity what do you want why do you want how to is a process how to bring that shift in you is a process and in life these 90 days are a gift to you from the universe to change the way you think do you think how much and what do you think what worst could happen to you or the best best can happen to you every moment in life today from today onwards is an opportunity you keep knocking new doors you keep creating a new life for you and life is creativity in crisis i'm sharing this every single day with lots of people every single day these webinars i am creating in people's lives a thought is coming i need to look at myself and rewire redesign myself when i look at myself both as an individual as a parent as a father as a son or as a leader or as an employee i see myself emerging and creating that new me i am sure each one of you listening on this webinar and those who will listen to this webinar later will be inspired will be motivated and will be influenced to take this journey to a new level a new positioning a new me is going to emerge and remember what i said to you what you feed your mind determines your appetite you feed scarcity you will be hungry to get negativity you will be hungry to have negative people around you you will hungry to get depression around you and when you feed good thoughts good words good activity positive mental attitude enthusiasm and self discipline you don't need to think what's going to happen i am sharing with you that miracles will happen in your life you will become good to great provided today you leave the bad and the ugly in terms of the words in terms of the people in terms of the choices you make and what you feed is what you're going to get as a result and this is what you need to share with the family at home with everybody and now the most important part are you protecting yourself are you protecting yourself and your people are you looking after yourself in terms of health physical fitness mental fitness and emotional fitness what are you doing in your routine in your 6 am to 11 pm every single day to be physically fit mentally fit and emotionally fit allocate time allocate time for your personal and for your family 
to get these three zones right personal fitness mental fitness and emotional fitness this is going to bring that shift in you when you allocate your resources which is time today 6 am to 11 pm you will see that where is going to take you it's going to take you to a new level a new level where you yourself will not believe and when you now make that decision post this call during this call that i am going to challenge myself i am going to create a new me i want to share with you my famous cliche which i use it is in your moments of decision it is in your moments of decision that you design your destiny so commit to yourself commit to yourself so that the mind can conceive i need to change i need to bring that change in me and believe in that thought that yes i believe in myself and when you say i believe in myself not only you the people around you will also believe in you and you as a leader of the house the family and the leader in your business in your profession in the job that you do as an employee or as an employer or running the business you will see these shifts will create a massive result i promise you every single day when you have written your 90 day plan on the wall and stuck sheets of paper into it the post it pads if you have it good if you don't have it buy it if you can't buy it cut paper put that gum and use it do not go to excuse mode do not go to blame mode do not go to a denial mode i can't do it i have never done it so do it the can'ts should become i can i can i will i am and i must look at the power of these words just speak these words and see how much power do you generate and all this comes from here the power of your mind and i know and i must share today the six powers of the mind will change you number 1 imagination imagine your tomorrow your day after your 30 days your 60 days your 90 days how you can create well being not only for yourself and the family but the people with whom you work the people who with you you deal in your business call them up keep them bright and you are now on the job of protecting yourself and your people and remember unless you do that the virus is spreading fast and therefore we have a responsibility to find out the best practices and practice them we have a responsibility not just to ourselves but for others to be considerate and plans in place for your workforce while keeping them connected virtually who is it essential that you keep connection with is important in these times it's very important to communicate in these times it's very important to communicate before i move on to the five tips for effective communication i must confess use the six faculties of your mind in a positive manner use the six faculties of the mind in a positive manner number 1 imagination number 2 intuition your gut your gut feeling number 3 will the desire and the burning desire number 4 memory use all your good memory in these times number 5 perception your perception should be should be positive sharing caring listening learning growing and you will see you are creating a new level 
not only in your personal life, but in the lives of people around you. And finally, reason. So the fixed, the six faculties, I repeat, imagination, intuition, will, memory, reason, and perception, use them to create a new be, a new belief in you, a new person in you. You become a new person. Do the effort that needs to be done to have, to capture that Mount Everest that you can imagine in these 90 days and then beyond, life is going to be so good that you'll bless. You got this lesson today from all of us that yes, today is the day that I need to make a decision to make that shift, not only in my life, but in the lives of people around me and the business or the engagement or the job that I'm doing. All the six areas that you need to work on is yourself, is your health, your people health, your company health, your relationships, your people at home, your people at work, your people whom you deal with. And it's important. When you deal with people, ask them, how can you help them in these times? And remember, the more you communicate in these times, the more they are going to belong to you. Your employees, and in case you are an employee with your leadership, with your vendors, with your suppliers, with all those people who matter. And finally, you are going to create a new wealth, a new person you're going to become. And when you are having enough resources in your 6 a.m. to 11 p.m. socially grow people within the neighborhood and within the people. So you're looking after all these areas. Now, let me come to the final point, the five tips for effective communication. And communication connectivity is the goal today. To connect with people, connect with people, to communicate with people, I want you to take your notepads out and write this down. I got this great message two days back from one of my great coaches in USA. Five tips for effective communication. And I'm sharing this with you. Number one, communicate relentlessly. Communicate relentlessly. Write in your default diary before you sleep. These 20 people, you need to communicate First thing in the morning, 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. when you're sitting in your office, whether you're an employee or an employer, you got to do your routine. Self-discipline. You got to get ready and sit in your home office 9 to 12. Remember, this time is not going to come back in your life. You can sleep till 12 and never wake up in life. Or you can choose to wake up at 6 a.m and create a new life. I promise you, I will keep sharing this message till the 90th day. And those of you who make that move will become a new human being. And those of you who sleep, I wish they listen to this over and over again and find that time to make that choice, to make that decision, to change and design their destiny, conceive that thought, commit to that thought, believe in themselves and take action. So as I said, number one, communicate relentlessly. Number two, simplify and be direct. Simplify and be direct. Number three, listen and encourage input. Listen and encourage input. Start listening, people. Leaders, start listening to your employees. 75% listening and 25% is what you need to respond to what you listen. And encourage them to keep speaking, not only to themselves, but to people within their surroundings, so that it has a multiplier effect. 
60 into 60 into 60 into 60 into 60, that ripple effect will go on and you would have touched the lives of people, not only in your city, but around the globe. Next, number four, illustrate through stories like I have been sharing with, in my coaching programs every single day. What is happening? My gurus are sharing with me about a lot of stuff happening in America. There is domestic violence. There is unemployment, which is growing up. People are sitting at home and the women are getting mad. I hope that changes. And in India, we encourage our people sitting at home to be a part of the household routine. Please allocate your time between five to nine in the evening and six to nine in the morning to those parts which need attention. And finally, affirm with actions. What do you need to affirm? First, affirm to yourself. When you speak to yourself in the morning, you say, I am confident. I am fearless. I am confident. I am fearless. These affirmations. And then I am limitless. I am unstoppable. And I am the best. Use these five affirmations every day. You can use it 50 times, 100 times, as many times as you want. And see, not only you, the family, the people, the people you communicate with, they will change. And remember, do not leave your people to wonder. That's a mark of caution. Do not leave your people to wonder what's going on and what you are doing to protect them and the business. I repeat, do not leave your people to wonder. Unless you communicate, they will wonder what's going on and what you are doing to protect them and the business. Be clear, be caring, be consistent, and be commercially minded that you have to look after them and the resources that you're deploying, both your personal reserves and the company reserves to keep the company afloat during these times will come back multifold. I promise you, never ever all business owners listening to me today have a fear that once you deploy your reserves, deploy your personal reserves and your business reserves, you are going to be doomed. Let that go out of your mind. You are investing your reserves in keeping your assets together, in building your assets to become sharper. They are sharpening their skills. They are sharpening their knowledge. They are sharpening their belief set to become better humans. And they are creating a happy living at home and at their office where they are working. And why do I say that is emphatically be clear, be caring, be consistent, and be commercially minded to give them this benefit of leadership sitting from home. And let's not be silent. Please, let's not be silent, but take control of the narrative and be the voice that provides solutions and options for helping us move forward in a safe and secure manner. So communicate in a proactive, positive, and a pragmatic way is the lesson that I'm teaching you. Now, I still have some time, yeah. Create an action plan. I will read this out quickly so that you can remember and we'll be sharing a copy of this webinar with each one of you. Create a daily routine to stay focused and productive, the employee. Be careful what you spend your time listening and watching. Be careful what you spend on time listening and watching. Know your income and cash situation. Preserve cash. Don't spend unnecessarily. Find ways to create value to your employer. Yes, find ways to create value to your employer. If your job is at risk, what can you do to create an income stream? Find what you are good at that could add value to others. Don't wait for things to happen. Be proactive. Take consistent daily action. And for the employer, 
know your exact financial situation, preserve current revenue streams, manage expenses cash, don't spend unnecessarily, be an example and lead with a positive and disciplined mindset. Look for opportunities to provide services, products that add value to the market. Create scenarios and potential response options. What would happen if revenue drops? The situation persists for extended period, you get sick. So now take the time to think through contingencies. What will we do if there is a shutdown and we must close? This continues for the next two, three months. I have reduced or no revenues and cannot meet my financial obligations. Me or my key people catch the virus and cannot function. Here are a few questions and thoughts for your plan. How will you address these issues? Will you send people home? And if so, how? Will you lay off people permanently or for initial short periods? If so, who would you release first? What services can you keep offering and how you will offer them? How will you change your operating model to meet the needs of your customers? What would you put in place for employees who must continue working? And you must monitor, adjust, and optimize. Execute, test, measure, and adjust. We must act and act quickly and decisively while checking what's working and what's not working. We must be constantly tracking to see the results of our plans and actions and be open to making changes. The reality of the environment does not require, I repeat, the reality of the environment does not require us to shrink to a grain of sand, but to stand and become a bridge or a mountain. Now, I must come back and share with you, life is defined by the choices you make. So make the right choices today. And be the leader. Be the leader you need to. Guard your heart, feed your mind, protect yourself and your people. Communicate in a proactive, positive, and a pragmatic way. Create an action plan, execute, test, measure, and adjust. I hope you carried these inputs and in your personal life, write your daily routine. Write your 6 a.m. to 11 p.m. Get up in the morning. Look at physical fitness. Look at emotional fitness. Look at mental fitness. Start using the words, I can, I will, I must. And promise yourself that I will move on the journey. And I must share with you before I close. My last, which is my gift to you, a template which is being shared with you. I, Harish Mehta, promise myself to be so strong that nothing can disturb my peace of mind. I, Harish Mehta, promise myself to talk health, happiness, and prosperity to every person I meet. I promise myself to make all my friends feel that there is something worthwhile in them. I promise myself to look at the sunny side of everything and make my optimism come true. I promise myself to think only of the best, to work only for the best, and to expect only the best. I promise myself to be just as enthusiastic about the success of others as I am about my own. I promise myself to forget the mistakes of the past and press on to the greater achievements of the future. I promise myself to wear a cheerful expression at all times and give a smile to every living creature I meet. I promise myself to give so much time to improving myself, to improving myself that I have no time to criticize others. I promise myself to be too large for worry, 
too noble for anger and too strong for fear and too happy to permit the presence of trouble. I promise myself to think well of myself and to proclaim this fact to the world. To think well of myself, to proclaim this fact to the world and in not in loud words, but in great deeds. I, Harish Mehta, promise myself to live in the faith that the whole world is on my side so long as I am true to the best that is in me. I am sharing this with you. Thank you for joining me today on this webinar. This 90-day period is a great challenge. It's a great opportunity for each one of us to grow, to learn, and to create not only a new you, but a new you around you. And I mean it. And the routine starts from today. If it is not there, it is there from today. Make that decision, grow up, and grow the people around you. Sonali, thank you very much. I am ready for questions, if any. Thank you so much for such a wonderful session, sir. It was so inspiring listening to you, and it was such a uh, such a pleasure to have you here. Uh, I hope everyone took something out of this session and it was absolutely amazing. I'm sure if they carry it in their mind, they will grow from today. Definitely, sir, definitely. Uh, so we already have a few questions lined up. Uh, if you permit, we can give everyone a two minutes break for them to write down any more questions that they might have. And we'll continue in two minutes again. So, uh, all the attendees, if you have any questions... And I want you to give them these gifts. Send them by gratitude mail for all those people who attended. Definitely, sir. We'll send them the recording as well as uh, the gratitude mail uh, after the session. And also, those of the attendees who want to have a call with me, I'm happy to give a 15 to 30 minutes coaching session with them. They can note down my mobile number. Send me a WhatsApp, 992091747. And also mail me, Harish Mehta at actioncoach.com. And from the Action Coach community in India, and worldwide, I must share with you, we are all here in this world to help you become better in life and in business. So connect with us, stay with us, and we are blessed to serve you in these times. Wonderful, sir. Uh, we'll share your uh, contact details with everyone as well in a mail after the session. So if anyone wants to contact him directly, please get in touch. We have another five minutes. If there are any question, I'm happy to answer. If they need to speak to me directly, I'm happy to address them. Feel free, but let go negativity. Let go negative people from now onwards. Be positive, be proactive, and be the communicator, be the change that you want to see in the people around you. I am the communicator and my job is to influence people to grow, to learn and grow people, grow themselves. And life is too short to be ordinary. And these 90 days are a blessing to you by the universe. Add value to yourself and to the people around you and see that how greatness is visible in every action that you take from now onwards. Great. Uh, so we have quite a few questions lined up now. I think I'll start with them. I'll read out the question, uh, question sir, and you can uh, give the answer after that. So Jaspreet Kaur says, 
how to stop distraction while working as we have to use technology but at times technology itself engages in other unuseful content focus 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 where focus goes energy flows remember these keywords focus 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 where focus goes energy flows attention focus and energy are three things that you need to put here in your mind today when you focus on one particular activity it gets done when you focus on too many things your mind get distracted and when i said use your mental faculties to the best stay focused stay focused all the time that you're on the job you'll get the results in minimum possible time when you want to do too many things you get nothing i promise you you look at the way i focused on my speech today 55 minutes of focus speech no phone calls no disturbance no having tea no getting up to the washroom when you discipline yourself so self discipline and enthusiasm and 24 by 7 positive mental attitude will get the results you want perfect uh the next attendee says every business is striving with cash crunch right now suggest how to manage this problem i have given you what you need to focus on as employer keep the cash ready look at the expenses you need to make take out your reserves your personal reserves and your reserves from the business and in case you do not have reserves from the business borrow money borrow money from the banks go to them i need to survive do not hesitate be open the government is going to give you lot of money to survive these four months remove the fear from you that you have no money when you let go the fear the fear disappears from today be proactive communicate with people and reach out to people to help them the money will come what businesses you are in ask money from the people who have to give you the money back and help those people who need your resources in terms of your goods your services do not procrastinate do not think should i do or should i not do mera paisa mar jayega agar tum zinda nahi rahoge to tum mar jaoge so deploy everything that you have be proactive be enthusiastic be positive and create that environment remove negative thoughts from your mind that we will perish you will perish only if you want to attract misery when you attract abundance good will good thoughts you can never perish the universe will participate and remember write down these words on your notepad what you think is what you become what you think is what you become and when you think you are rich you will become rich all your thoughts will move towards the universe and you'll attract all that good that is waiting for you the more you think negative the more you will attract negative the universe is going to participate and remember the more you believe in yourself the more you bring those positive thoughts the more the world is going to care for you the more you give the more you have isn't that great so start giving and start having start attracting those good things and you will get them the universe is waiting to share with you the resources that universe is having believe in that believe in yourself and say i will i can and i must when you use affirmations the mind shifts and it's all here 
whether you carry a scarcity mind or an abundant mind even with 100 rupees you are rich and you can always say with 5 crores that i have nothing i may perish how you think what you think is what you become carry this affirmation and spread this message become wise here healthy here and healthy mentally healthy physically and healthy emotionally will take you on these 90 days to survive well and thrive thereafter post these 90 days spread this message to yourself first inside go in and spread it i belong there and when you see you belong there you start speaking the same language like me i speak this language for the last 5 years and i attract good better and best and i'm creating this new life in the lives of people coaching them mentoring them teaching them and also inspiring educating them and influencing them to shift their mind from a negative mindset to a mind power mind power mind power look at the way i say power it generates power in you it's all how you do what you do and how you do is how you become and what you become is all there so leave your bad habits leave where you're coming from promise yourself to take the new route and i have gifted you this read this i promise 200 times every day you see the result your pattern in your mind is going to shift you're going to create a positive mindset and believe in all those 15 sentences which i recited and that is your power that is what you're going to get so i'm so very happy sonali that i could do this program with you i am grateful to business x and would like to do a series of programs for leaders for business owners and for people in profession i would like to do a question answer session henceforth so that i could address those 10 20 30 people in that one hour addressing individual questions is the new ball game and i'm going to address them and promise them and make that shift in their lives and i am there to help you all remember my job for the next 30 years is to recreate life for people a good life a healthy life a wealthy life and a sharing and caring life we all grow together we all live together we all inspire each other and we all influence each other in these times is what my message is thank you thank you thank you very much and looking forward to chat with you personally Thank And Sonali, please get this momentum on. Definitely. Next ninety days, we should do nine seminars to people, and I'm happy to share it through your platform, Business X. That's great, sir. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Um, we have a few other questions, but they were based on the same theme, so I believe you have answered them all really well. thank you so much for your time sir and yes i really hope that we can continue with this series with you and uh, everyone if you have any other questions please contact sir directly as well he'll be more than happy to answer your questions personally as well thank you enjoy life and share a good life with your people from now on your thank time you. starts now <laughs> Thank you so much, everyone, for joining us today. Uh, all the recordings and the highlights of the session will be shared to you in an email afterwards, uh, along with the details of our speaker. So please feel free to get in touch with him with us if you have any queries, any questions at all. Thank you so much for your time, and we'll see you next time with another session. Thank you so much. Stay home, stay safe. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. Blessed. Thank you.